Welcome to Training Simulator Module TSM-107C, Class C qualification for the Hercules Mark II Heavy Assault Fighter. This module has been designed to acquaint pilot. The year is 2367. 32 years have passed since the Great War. The only jump node to Sol collapsed long ago, isolating Earth from the Galactic Terran Vasudan Alliance, a new government uniting old enemies. As the Terrans and Vasudans struggle to rebuild their civilizations, civil war erupts in the Polaris system. A rogue Terran admiral declares war against the Vasudans, and his rebellion threatens the stability of the Alliance. Without warning, the Shivans return and the GTVA launches a crusade to eliminate their great war nemesis. Once again, the Alliance must crush the Shivan onslaught or else face annihilation. The Galactic Terran Vasudan Alliance is continuing its exploration of the nebula beyond Gamma Draconis. Our primary objective is to locate and neutralize all Sheban forces in the immediate vicinity. No system in the GTVA will be safe until we secure the nebula. At 1350 hours, a GTVA scouting force encountered a Sheban cruiser designated the Araman and its escort of Mara fighters. A skirmish ensued. The Araman was damaged, but a fierce counterattack from its supporting fighters forced our scouts to withdraw with heavy losses. Your mission is to lead a flight from the third battle group to finish. Your mission is to lead a flight from the third battle group to finish the job. Destroy the Araman and its escort and get your flight back in one piece. Move fast before they jump out or deploy reinforcements. You will command wings Alpha and Beta in this attack. Alpha will fly the Hercules Mark II heavy assault fighter while Beta provides bomber support. Delta and Theta are standing by. Call them in if you need help. Destroy the Araman's escort, then take down the cruiser. Good luck, pilot. Alpha, you are approaching the last known position of the Araman. Stay alert. Roger that command. Sensors are picking up hostile readings. Target acquired and closing in.
By your command. Good work, Alpha. At your discretion, you may return to base or continue your patrol. The Shivans may have called for reinforcements, so be on guard if you remain in system. Protect the transports, Alpha. Keep the bombers away from the convoy. William Tell Squadron, this is Colonel Walker. Listen up. The initial strike came up well short. The Angel Heart Squadron has been wiped out. Only Major Metton and Lieutenant Bradshaw managed to eject. The rest of the strike was chased back to the Hermes. They managed to destroy a few of the Toposk's destroyer escorts. But with our fighter wing on life support, we have to take the carrier out now, before he can regroup if we want to have a chance at keeping this system. I've talked with Captain Moran and we've agreed to send up everything we can, even ones that are down -checked. Only half of the fighters have made it back from the first strike are spaceworthy, so we're stripping forces from our escorts to assist in the follow-up attack. The fighters left for the Hermes defense will be minimal. 
I will personally be leading this assault. We'll proceed from the Hermes to a holding point at Nav-1. Once there, we'll wait for confirmation that a little surprise Captain Moran has in store for the Kilrathi is in place. From there, we'll continue to the Tapost group at Nav-2. Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, and Hotel Wings will be providing the fighter escort. Alpha and Bravo Wings from U. William Tells will destroy the Tapask and all remaining escorts. We do not have the resources for another attempt, so we have to get this done. Remember, the Tapask is the carrier that wiped out Fort Crockett, bombarded Vega Prime, destroyed the Centurion, and ambushed us in Loki. If this carrier doesn't piss you off, I don't know what will. It's payback time. Leave no Kilrathi surviving. Kill everything. William Tell Squadron, you are the last to launch. Good luck and Godspeed to you all. Strike team, this is Walker. All wings form on me. All units. Take course for NAV-1. Proceed to next waypoint. Timetables are synchronized. We've mailed our Christmas gifts. Colonel, operation is a go. Strike team, we have a carrier to kill. Set autopilots to NAV-2. Anyone who wants to sleep before the big fight better do it now. Proceed to next waypoint. All units, this carrier hasn't shown us any slack. Show no mercy. Or you will receive none. Hell's archers, sparrowhawks, stay with the bombers and provide close-in escort. Stormlords, we're going to move ahead and begin clearing a path through the picket line. William Tells, stay on our heels, because we aren't stopping until we hit that carrier. Bloodhounds, great wives, Burma tigers, break and attack. Colonel, just get those Zartons out of the way so we can get a target lot and we'll cook you up a plant stop. I'll save the way to your ancestors, Kitty.
I'll pave the way to your ancestors, kitty.
burn in hell.
targets incoming. A new wing of Cylon Raiders, designation Ion. They are armed with missiles. There's too many of them, Theseus. We need additional support. We're trying to get more fighters in the launch tubes, but it's going to take at least six minutes until we can launch another squadron.
This is Admiral Petrog, commanding officer of the GTD Aquitaine. Uh this is Captain Lukakis, squadron leader of the 53rd Hammerheads. At 0320 hours, the Aquitaine entered the Deneb system. Admiral Petro... A situation is developing... Alpha-2 here. I have a visual on the convoy. 1,500 meters dead ahead. The escort wing is down two fighters. Iota Transports. This is Alpha Wing of the 53rd Hammerheads, GTD Aquitaine. We have orders to protect your convoy. What's your status? Over. Alpha Wing, we have lost three transports to the Rebel attack. The surviving vessels have sustained moderate damage. We anticipate the Rebels will return in greater force. Hang in there, Iota. Command will send a recovery craft as soon as possible. All right, Alpha. Let's get to work. We must defend these transports until the recovery ship arrives. Sensors picking up incoming hostiles. A wing of Herc's closing in. Alpha 1 and 2 intercept those fighters. We will defend the transport. TCV Belisarius, a Dymos class corvette, has run our blockade of the Sirius jump node. We are now tracking the vessel through subspace. We have vectored its course to your immediate vicinity. Acknowledged, Command. We will intercept the target. Incoming jump signature. It's the Belisarius. Gunnery control, power up photon beam cannons. Commence plasma core insertion. 
All units stand clear of the Samtic and Melisarius. Negative, Masudin. The NTF is the only legitimate authority in this system. Your posturing insults us both, Masudin. I will not give up my ship. As you wish. Gunnery control, open fire. Belisarius' objective has been neutralized. Now deploying wing Zeta and Theta. You are relieved of your escort, Alpha Wing. Mission accomplished, Alpha. Return to base. Well done, pilots. Good work, pilot. You held off the rebel attack and saved both Basudan transports from destruction. Your squad mates and I all agree, you'll make a fine addition to the 53rd Hammerheads. Command reports that 75% of the refugees have been recovered with few casualties. The Sakanas decimated our fleets at the Capella node. Your bomber wing will be scrambled to destroy the Juggernaut's forward beam turrets before it reaches Capella. We must destroy at least two turrets to give the Colossus a fighting chance. You will be armed with the new long-range trebuchet missile and the Helios torpedo, the GTVA's most powerful tactical warhead. Alpha Wing, your mission is to assist the Phoenicia. We must hold this node against the Shivan advance. Your objective. Command, I will not jeopardize the lives of my crew. Either you deploy more ships now or we will withdraw. We cannot hold this position without additional fleet assets. Alpha, your objective is to destroy the Juggernaut's forward beam cannons. Target the tip of each of the four arms of the Sathanas. The Phoenicia will hold back the Sathanas until you complete your objectives. You must order the Phoenicia to withdraw, Command. The destroyer will not survive this engagement. This is the Phoenicia. We've got a hull breach on 12 decks. 25% of our crew is down. Authorization or not, we're getting out of here, Command. Affirmative. Alpha Wing, your mission is to assist the Phoenicia. We must hold this node against the Steven advance. Your objective. Command, I will not jeopardize the lives of my crew. Either you deploy more ships now or we will withdraw. We cannot hold this position without additional fleet assets. Alpha, your objective is to destroy the Juggernaut's forward beam cannons. Target the tip of each of the four arms of the Sathanas. The Phoenicia will hold back the Sathanas until you complete your objectives. You must order the Phoenicia to withdraw, Command. The destroyer will not survive this engagement. This is the Phoenicia. We've got a hull breach on 12 decks. 25% of our crew is down. Authorization or not, we're getting out of here, Command. Neither will the Colossus if you fail your mission. You have your orders. Do it now! Delta Wing, disable the forward black gun to equip the shreds. Alpha, focus on the main cannon. Now they're targeting black guns now.
now. Please stand by. Enforcements are standing by. The demon class destroyer has jumped in. Command, plan four. Then they must know this mission is suicide. Rearming. Disregarding your target. By your command. operational.
Concentrate now on the anti-fighter beams and the flak cannons. the Juggernaut's forward beam cannons. The tactical significance of this achievement cannot be overemphasized. Initial reports from Capella are favorable, though the battle is far from over. You will be scrambled immediately to assist the Colossus. You also help to eliminate the Belleth. Consequently, our remaining forces in depth...